Hi everyone, and welcome back to That Is My Opinion with me, your hostess with the most is so cows, ties and a raindrop, April showers. Today we're back for episode four, we're recapping and reviewing Canada's Drag Race. And let's welcome my special guest this evening, all the way from Compton, she's my drag sister, unfortunately, and her name makes me hungry. Please welcome Torta Hugosa. Yes, hi everybody. Hi sis. Sis, you magically appeared. Are you I the genie did. in the bottle? I'm scared. Did you see me appear from out of thin air? Um, why, why are we hiding? Can you please take it off? Um, I would like to keep it on, please. Take it off, sis. I, I would like to keep it on, take sis. Take it off. Oh! Ah! She shaved her beard, ladies and gentlemen. She's a fucking gentleman. woman, honey. Oh, she's a woman. You're coming for I everyone's game. I am. So hold on to your man. Hold on to your man. Is your this husband. The Everybody. Is this what you've been doing over quarantine? Shaving I, your beard? I have, sis. It's been, it's been a little crazy. Walking the know, streets at night of Compton. Um, you know, a little Compton, Compton Beach. Not Compton Beach Boulevard. Oh my god. The Compton streets need me, sis. Come on, the Compton streets. And I love how her hair is bigger than me, ladies and gentlemen. Well, you know, this hair is by um, Hurricane Facade. It's, it's beautiful, isn't it? I love it. You should do this all the time. Should I? Show them face, give us face, oh. give us face, give us face. Oh, hold on, I gotta show my jewelry, <laughs> Manny. I love it. Give it a fourth thought there. Yes, bitch. Ah. Sis, how are you? I am good. How are you? How's everything? How's life? How's quarantine treating you? I'm doing well. How's quarantine treating you? Besides shaving my beard off, I don't know, maybe my head is next? Your what head. What do you guys think? Do you shave those legs, though? A woman always shaves her legs. A Andy. woman always shaves those legs. All right. Well, welcome. Thank you for being my special guest this evening. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Um, we're finally on episode four of Canada's Drag Race. Yeah, I know. It's fucking crazy. Are like, you watching? Obviously, she's watching. No, yeah. I, I'm not watching. I just decided to pop in and talk shit about people I haven't seen. Like me? Uh, I mean, have you seen your drag? <laughs> sis. All right, let's get started. Yes. All right, so um, we are starting off with our third lipstick message in the mirror, yes. and we said goodbye to Miss Anastasia Nakwe. Yes. Um, yes last yes. week, do you agree on Anastasia leaving? Yes or no? Um. Yes. I mean, I feel like the lip sync. Um, definitely was a little crazy. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like it needed a little bit of emotion, a little bit more of emotions. I mean, her hair was everything. You know, she is a pageant queen, so I feel like she's very regal, very like elegant. But the lip sync, the lip sync assassin of the of the season, I think, sent them home. Yeah, and I think it was right. Yeah, I think she um over thought about the, the the challenge yes and it got to her head yes yes um yes. other than that she didn't leave a lipstick message on the mirror i'll call it i call shade um thoughts and opinions on i mean her not leaving a lipstick message when you're the baddest bitch in the game you ain't gotta leave a message honey bitch i love that so i love that i i mean i honestly was rooting for her I, we were I all rooting we, for bitch i i honestly was rooting for her and then she ended up in the bottom you know she said mother is god no she said mother out. Oh, mother out. And then walked away. And then walked away. Yeah. No, don't be surprised if she's the next RuPaul bitch. Oh, come on, RuPaul. Do you think Tainomi's gonna be the lipstick assassin? I mean, I, she's amazing, don't get me wrong. I, I do think she's been sending people home left to right. But, you know, sometimes people don't, we get tired of them. I don't know, you know? I think she is a great lip sync assassin, don't get me wrong. But I also feel like she gets in her head a lot. Yeah, she does. You know? I mean, we all do. We've seen how we, we, we act when we start competing, girl. Bitch. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. But it's understandable. All right, so moving on. Yes. So um, we got our mini challenge for this episode. Yes. And Miss Stacy comes into the workroom and she calls out the pit crew. Not one, not two, not three, not four, but more than five pit crews, men in shirts, and the Bitch. girls have to um, match the underwear, or should we say really match the cock size, to, uh, hey. you know, the other guy that's yes. in the underwear. Yes, um, yes, yes. I was like, yes, flood my basement. It was good. So many men, yes. shirtless, thoughts, not, opinions. Not when she said, um, oh, I'm craving a, 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 a baked potato, when she had the, um, the foil kind of underwear, gray underwear, whatever you yeah. want to call it. <laughs> um, but can we also talk about, bitch, the representation of thick men yes, in yes, Canada's a, drag race. Yeah. Okay, so when I saw him, I was like, oh, daddy, please. Mm. Listen, he can thick uh, and juicy, and I'm sure everything else is thick. If my pussy. We'll bleep that out. <laughs> oh, but if, if my vagina uh -huh. can produce kids, I would have flown to Canada right now oh, come and on. went to go look for We're going to Canada and we're going to look for the pit crew, ladies and gentlemen. We are, girl, because honestly, like, 
when have I mean I haven't seen a thick man like that. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Especially on the US season. No, I agree with you. Absolutely. Yeah, and they've done this mini challenge before where they had to match the underwears. I yes. can't remember what season it was. Maybe season six or seven. But yes, I yeah. agree with you. Alright, um, so moving on. So Miss Stacy um, announces the Maxi Challenge mm -hmm. and we have another fashion design challenge, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Get ready. Um, the Maxi Challenge is um, the teams, they're gonna be teams of three, and they have to create and design a fashion line out of um, recycled materials. So they get paper, plastic, and metal, ladies and gentlemen. Um, if you were given this challenge, would you freak out? And can you make anything out of products given to you? I mean, I I would go crazy, bitch. I would like, honestly, wouldn't know what to do because I'm no. not crafty. Well, see, I'm crafty. I'm not, girl. Yeah. Give me a base and a glue gun, and I can make wonders. A sewing machine, no. But if you said, here's I, a base, here's plastic, here's paper, turn it out, I could definitely make something. I just, I, I'm, I would literally sit there, and be like, um, Scarlet Bobo. The one she was going crazy, right? I think she's going. No, wait, was she going crazy? Was it Jimbo? No, it was Scarlet Bobo. Well, Scarlet Bobo Scarlet was going crazy. Bitch, I'm, yeah. I'm Scarlet Bobo. She like, was like, I brought all these looks. Bitch, Scarlet Bobo, yeah, I brought yeah. all these looks, and I have another fucking design challenge. And and you know who else said that? And I was like, okay, bitch, you're right. Um, when she was having that uh, young meltdown, um, Ilana. Ilona. 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 Yeah. Ilona. 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 Bitch, I just feel like I would I would be crazy. However, there was a challenge in um, when I was in facade. Yes, come on. Which shout is, out to facade. Shout out to facade. Shout out to Psychedella facade. facade, bitch. And shout out to Hamburger Mary's Long Beach. Come on, Long Beach. Um, because we had this competition and this challenge was 99 cents. Yes, come on. The 99, 99 cents, cents cha challenge only. So you would use anything from the 99 cents store and create a look. And you, I remember watching you, you did well. I, I mean, sure. She's the sure. I mean, I always like a crowd challenge because it really challenges you. Yeah. I made a dress out of peeps, I made a dress out of bows, I made a dress out of flowers, I made a lot of things out of crafty shit, so I think I would succeed in this challenge. She's like, no. Bitch. <laughs> Ooh, you're Anyways, so mad in her continue. royal purple. Because it's royalty. just, you know, hey, look at this outfit. This outfit by Zai, Haney. Shout out to Zai, too. So I love when the girls were giving these materials, a lot of them were freaking the fuck out. Scarlet yeah. Bobo, Ilona, um, I, I call Shade with um, Ilona's um, group because they had thought of a concept originally and then Jimbo, Jimbo went off on her own and designed something and said, well now I'm gonna do this and you're gonna design it around me. Would you have done the same thing? You, I mean, there's clearly a leader in a group. Yeah. And we clearly saw who the leader was. Yeah. And I feel like, Jimbo took the initiative to say, this is what we're doing, this is what I got, want you guys to kind of come up with. Yeah, she wanted to be the star. And was she the star or not? Exactly, she was the star, and I think I would have done something the same. Or like, say she's- So, okay, so let's pause real quick, because you said you're calling shade, but yet you would do the same thing. <laughs> I would, because you're trying to be out, you're gonna outshine the two competitors. It's a competition. So you're gonna throw- your... I'm still gonna be shady, but so at the same time, her... I will play the victim. Okay. She said, okay. I mean, we know where you stand, bitch. But say if I was Tainomi or Ilona, and they were like, I would have been like, no, we're gonna do this. We agreed on this. Scrap, scrap your thing. You if I was in their position. No, she wouldn't. Yes, I would. Okay, no, so say, no, no. you and I were in a group challenge, and okay. we thought of an idea, and then you went on your own and said, I'm gonna do this, and you're gonna do this. I'm gonna, I would have been like, no, I'm gonna do this, and you're gonna do this. To each their own. But I, I'm just saying, I think Jimbo ha was the smartest person because she's, I mean, she knows what's good for her. Yeah. She knows what's like, what works for her and what doesn't. Yeah. And if this is something that she decided to do, obviously you should have the people supporting you. Yeah. Whether clearly, you, clearly they ruffled some feathers. I mean. Or we should say some paper. Which, I'll, oh. That was good, bitch. That was good. I so that, was good. <laughs> um, <laughs> that was good. Um, no, but I do. I truly feel that she she took charge of the group, and I, I I just feel like if the other two people didn't put their effort into it to look as good as her, yeah. that's kind of on them. Yeah, I you know. Agree. But yes, I kind of get why it sucks because they already had came up with the plan or whatever, which was kind of what burlesque theme yes. and all that good stuff. Plans change all the time, Henry. No, yeah, I agree with you. You know? Yeah, so, so I like to touch base on a serious moment. Um, 
what I really like enjoyed about Canada Drag Race so far is each week we've been getting um, a queen story and really getting to yep. know more about them. Last week we heard about Priyanka and how mm -hmm. her dad didn't know he was gay. Yep. This week we heard about um, Ilona Verley on her high school experience, how she was out and proud. Um, can I ask yep. you how your high school experience was, if you'd like to share? Yeah. Um, were you out? Were you in the closet? How so, was it going through high school? So, Miss Torta Hugosa in high school was not out. She oh. was uh, She was none of this. She was none of this, honey. <laughs> she was a heterosexual male at that time. Oh, come on, um, heterosexual male. Trying to figure out his, like, who he is, trying to figure out what he wanted. Um, yeah. But deep down inside, I knew that I was gay. Okay. Um, if that makes sense. Like, you yeah. know, like, bitch, you just know. Like, I would go into the locker room and, oh, this is cute. This is this is nice. She you know? didn't look at all the gym shorts, like. Hey, listen. <laughs> football practice. Football was my favorite shit, bitch. I would never play sports, but when they would change, <laughs> it was everything. But no, yes, I was a straight. I was a straight male, and I I was still trying to figure myself out. I did have a lot of friends. I was um, I wouldn't say I was very popular in high school, but I was well known amongst everybody and throughout all the grades. Okay. But it was really hard for me too because it's like. You want to be this liberated person. Yeah. You want to have everybody accept you. Yeah. But when you live in a society that judges people so harshly, yeah. you get so afraid to so afraid. be yourself. You yeah. know? And I mean, we've heard countless times of of times where like kids kill themselves yeah. because they get bullied. They you get know? Yeah. And sometimes it's not even in high school, it's yeah. middle school, elementary. Yeah. And then for me, like I've always been out. I've been out since me the moment I came out of my mother's vagina. But yes, um, I've been out since elementary yeah. school, and yes, I've been bullied for being too fan, for being gay. Um, but to me, I was like, like I always held up a facade, facade I guess, mm -hmm. where like yeah. if you try to bully me, I'm gonna talk back to you, okay. just because I was so afraid. You of were still your getting, yeah, okay. getting beaten up in elementary, middle school, which never happened. Yeah. But yeah. I was, always, I've always been out and proud, and like, look, if you have something to say say it to me, but yeah. at the end of the day, I'm gay and I'm proud and you're See, not gonna stop. And for me, I was just so scared of that. Yeah. I was so scared of saying, hey, this is me, this is who I am and I'm gay. Yeah. And then having somebody say, you know, the F word to you or... Yeah, yeah which you know, I used to get it a lot, but I was yeah. like, it never fazed me, I just yeah. brushed it off. And yeah. I think for me, like, I'm not a very standoffish person. Yes. You know, I mean, you've known me for quite a while now yes. and I'm very calm, like, when yes. it comes to situations. Yes. But recently... Except that one time. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Oh my god! <laughs> we don't talk about that. Yeah. I mean, we can if we, can, if we want to, <laughs> no, but... We'll have to edit that. Um, anyways, yeah, I just feel like, for me, I didn't really understand what it meant to be gay until I got into college. Okay. And, like, taking all these courses about human sexuality and sociology and getting to know yourself a little bit more. I mean, granted, I didn't really come out until I was in college, too. Okay, yeah. So, throughout high school and, like, somewhat college, I was still... I was still in the closet. Yeah, and the... now she's wearing wigs, and dancing around without a beard. I was, you know, yeah. yeah I, the was, <laughs> I was in the closet getting my my clothes ready for this. I love it. I know she's I proud, and proud. she's representing purple from the rainbow yep. flag, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. Young, dumb, and full of cum. Oh, Hi. I love it. It is runway time. All right, so we welcome our special guest this week. We have fashion designer and. Canadian fashion designer. Well, he's both, obviously. Um, we have Bedell. I remember watching Bedell on Project Runway as well. Oh, His designs are everything, so it would make sense to have a fashion designer come in and judge a fashion runway. I don't know who that is. The girl, she needs to do her homework. I don't know. And when, they, when they said the name, I was like, Adele. Bedell. Bedell. But I heard Adele. And Bedell. I was like, Adele is British. No, Bedell. And he's also Canadian, obviously. Mm -hmm. All right, and um, he did a fabulous job when he hosted the runway. Like I said, last yeah. week we had uh, Deborah Cox. She did amazing, and he was cute. He did his little reveal. That was cute. Did, yeah. Like, okay, I would, I would want to point out, I don't know who he is, uh -huh. but what I will say is, him coming out in a trash suit, trash, trash, tr trash suit, mm -hmm. right? Is that trash. Trash, 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 trash suit. As a trash man, as a garbage man. Uh -huh. And revealing into the fucking outfit, gagged. Was that everything? Gagged. Gagged. Um, I loved it. It was really cute. The looks. I'm ready. Okay, she's ready. So let's start with the first group, which they got plastic. Yes. Their material was plastic. They yes. got plastic, and it was Rita Baga, Scarlett Bobo, and Kiara. Let's start with Rita Baga on this look. Um, she came out with a bald head. Bitch. She had plastic on her shoulders. Um, 
literally they used the tarp and made their materials. Remember, the, the challenge was to make a fashion line. Everything yes. looked cohesive. Um, this, this, this outfit, and when she stepped, like she walked in the runway, I said, bitch, that is my winner right there. This is cute. Like, I don't know how the fuck she did it in, in a sense of like, look how, it's just so well put together. Yeah. But granted, she also did mention that she was a club kid. Yes. This is and very club kid. I too. think this is where her like strong suit comes in yes. too because it's like I I know how to do this yes. and I'm gonna own it and I'm gonna rock it. She rock and it. she did. She did. Um she shaved her head. Um she's giving me also full post apocalyptic couture. Yeah. Yeah. Well, couture. Um, yeah. I love it. This is everything. This is fashion. This is really Have fun. you seen the movie um, Mad Max? I think that's what it's called, where like it's a very apocalyptic world. Yes, and they're fighting yes, each other. Yes. I think it's Mad Max. Yes. I don't know if it is, but y'all get it. Y'all get it. Yeah. Or Walking Dead, yes. Yeah, yes. this is really good. Yeah. Um, I love this whole look. This was everything. Commitment to the face or no? Because remember, obviously, when you're doing these looks, you want to go full out. Yeah. And that whole mug, like she, yeah. she, she did it. Yellow. Yeah. So good. And her hands were painted too. Yes. 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 I love it. And then the next person in her group was Scarlett Bobo. Um, this is one of my favorite looks this week. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. she struggled a lot in before this. She's like, yeah. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna be in the bottom. Yeah. She got in her head. But when she came out in this, I was like, this is everything. Um, I love how yeah. they kept the the shoulder piece again. Yes. Very cohesive yes. on that. Yes. She has a little head thing to match um, the shoulder. This is fashion. Yeah. This is giving me like graffiti me graffiti meets post apocalyptic. Really? Uh, yes. The only thing I don't like is the shoe. The shoe seems a little off. I feel like the shoe it's should very, have been dirtier. Yeah, dirtier, yeah. dirtier. I mean, it's very too showgirl when everything else looks so rugged down. The makeup is so yes. very like fashion as well. The yeah. shoe is the only thing that bothers me. Yeah. I mean, she was giving me post apocalyptic hope. Yes. Like that little cut dress, the the mug, the fucking stiletto heels, bitch. Like. Granted, I know you didn't like the shoes, but I feel like I think everybody has kind of a taste to it, you know? Yeah. I, I mean, I, I, it should have been dirtier. I feel like the shoe should have been a little dirtier, and it does throw it off a little. Yeah. Because it's like trash, 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 and then a crystal, or what is it? Like I can't Silver see pump. It. I own that shoe. Yeah, show. like those silver pumps, hey, you know? <laughs> um, you um, mean plastic, shade? plastic, plastic, shade? silver where, shoe. Where are the shoes from? Payless. Hey, before they closed. Uh, do they have playlists in Canada? Insert the shade song. Here. Here. Okay. Um, next we have, overall this is my favorite look in this group as well. Next we have Kiara, ladies and gentlemen. Um, she's giving us some more plastic as well. Yeah. Um, they kept the cohesion with the headpiece. Mm -hmm. She's mm -hmm. also bald. She looks bald. Yeah, she's also she bald. bald. Yeah. Um, I love how she painted her hand. Yeah. She's giving me more of a gown silhouette. Yes, um, it's, it's like really a, cute. Like I feel like it's like a overall type like gown. I don't know, like just how it's hooked up in here. Like I don't know if those gowns that you just have this little um, strip and you tie it in the back of your neck. I, yeah. I don't, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Um, the only thing I would say is uh, yes, the paint on the hands, but if you're gonna have open body, paint your body. I think I should have just uh, you would have painted your whole body. Paint your body, yeah. You know I because agree. what what happened from here to here that you didn't get dirty around here, yeah. you know? She should have went up more with the color yeah. and thrown in some yellow yeah. in there. Like um, um, Rita, uh, Rita Baga. Rita Baga. Like, she did her face. I feel like she could have done her face too. Yeah. You I know? Agree. I don't know. Do. Um, this is cute. This is really cute. This is yeah. fashion. Yeah. It's really cute. Yeah. The little and scales. The little scales. scales. Yeah. yeah. And then cute. they all three come out and walk the runway. Um, looking at this, would you think Funny. it was like, you know, I could see the coast. A whole collection. Co collection, yeah. Yeah. The collection. Yeah, same. Uh, like, if, if the category was post-apocalyptic category, I would have said, bitch, yes. Yep. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so far, they were cute. And they were I, good. I like them. All right. I like them. Moving on, um, we have Lemon, Boa, Boa. and Priyanka, yeah. and they got metal, ladies and gentlemen. Metal. Oh, here we go. And metal ain't easy to work with, no. bitch, so. So, yeah. So, um, Boa came out first. Yes. And she's giving us baked potato realness. No, she's giving us a skirt. Um, yeah. Yeah. The, the diaper or the Leo, or mm -hmm. we should say the, the silhouette of the, the shorts is cute. Um, yeah. The thing I liked about this is when her boobs open and they turn into satellites. Yes, that was really um, cute. I thought this look was okay. Was okay. I was a little upset because she looked so good last week. 
when she came out yeah. of this, I was like, yeah. I don't know, you could have done more. You could have done more with this. Granted, um, they had to work with metal. You can't do much with metal. The belt is cute. The belt yeah. is really cute. Yeah, it is. Um, so when she walked down, when Brooklyn critiqued her, she was pretty much like, oh, well, you always do camp, camp, camp. Well, look, that's what made me love the look. The moment she opened those titties and they turned to satellite and she made it very funny, I was like, okay, I like this. Um, I was like, what is Brooklyn talking about? That's her shtick. This is what she does. And that's kind of where I'm coming from. It's like, okay, these girls audition for Drag Race. Yeah. Obviously. They're not going to just, they're going to give you all the looks they serve. Yeah. And if her serve is being campy, obviously she made it on because she, she's fucking works it. She's going to camp. Yeah. You know, she's serving campiness. But, I mean, I can understand where Brooklyn is coming from. However, again, everybody's... Um, um, idea of drag is different. It's different. And I think with Boa, it's more... I love Boa's personality. Yes. And it shines a lot. However, my only issue with this outfit is kind of the same thing. I don't like... Her Her Leo looks a little too pamperish. And her she pamper. did... Let's just say yeah. she's wearing a diaper. Yeah, like she, diaper. Did, she did read herself, which I 100% yeah. commend her for that because yeah. you have to take... It takes a lot to own up to looking like shit. But... I like her titties. I like it. You know what I? You know what her titties remind me of when she opened it. Have you guys ever um, cooked popcorn in that little uh, metal, that's <laughs> the little, little metal popcorn thing? thing. Yeah. Uh, and like you have to yes. shake it, and then when it's ready, it like opens up. Yeah. She should have put tinfoil over them and then yes! popped them. And yeah. Then and popcorn like popcorn should have popped yeah, out. That was so cute. Um, overall, uh, this look was just okay was for cute. me. Yeah. It was cute. Next we have. Priyanka and Priyanka came in a um, structured silhouette dress. Um, thoughts, opinions. I can go first. Okay, so when I saw this, I did it. I was a little confused about it. Yes, it's giving me fashion, but I didn't understand the umbrella in her head. She should have held it, and I didn't really like her hair. Um, I don't know. I just, I was, I don't know. The dress just kind of mm -hmm. looked like something I can not buy off the rack. Yeah, I don't know. I was just really confused about the look. Yeah. No, me too. I was confused about the look because I feel like, don't get me wrong, the silhouette, it's there. Yeah, the silhouette is beautiful. She's giving us the body. But I don't, I don't see metal. Me neither. I don't. I, I, I can understand the fucked up umbrella. Yeah. You know, like raining or whatever. But I feel like the the, the outfit is just too. Ah, the wrap. Yeah. Yeah, to me, I was like, I don't know. And I was just confused about it. Confused. I mean, she the, the, the walk worked with it. You know, she was working it. But yeah. I, I honestly feel like she had better looks before. Yes, I agree. Maybe this was in her week. Yeah. And even the first design you know? challenge, the first design challenge, she did 10 times better than what she yeah. was doing. Yeah, so I was expecting a lot to see how Priyanka makes metal outfits, you know? I agree. All right, and then next we have Lemon, and she came out with this, like, fringy um, copper, copper thing. thing. Yeah. Uh, I loved it. I'm not gonna lie. I, I liked it. I liked it because... I've seen it! How many times have we seen the the fringe thing? We saw it on season 5. Pause. We saw it on That's season 11. That's my opinion! We've Is it not? We've seen it on season 12. Like, I'm tired of seeing the silhouette. Like, granted, she looks 10 times better than the first design challenge, but also this look does not match the two others. It's Except for metal. The umbrella. It's metal, girl. I don't see it's it. It's a metal fringe. It's copper. I don't understand what she doesn't see. It's a metal copper fringe outfit. Like honestly, I just I like the girl, I like the accent. That, that's, the, my the that's my but opinion. That's my opinion. But I've seen the silhouette. I'm just gonna, I've seen the silhouette, and that's, I think she could have done something something Wait, better. It's not about the silhouette. More, more cohesion with the other two looks. Okay, and so the three looks walk down the aisle, down the runway. Um, do you think looking at these three looks, do you see cohesion? Did you see how she just shut the fuck? She told me to shut up. Do you see cohesion on these three looks? No, I don't. I do. It's metal, metal, metal. Metal, metal, copper. But is it's copper not a metal? Yeah, it's copper is a metal. Um, I don't see, I think Lemon could have done something in silver. Um, okay, well let me tell you something. Why does Boa uh, uh, silhouette look like that? I've seen that silhouette so many times. That's what I said. I said the silhouette as well. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. We could Replay. rewind the tape. Rewind, rewind the tape. The tapes. <laughs> okay, so anyways, um, if these three looks, when they came out, I didn't see a collection. They are all wearing three different silhouettes. Okay. Um, if Lemon came down in silver yeah. or would have wore something like Boa or another structured dress like Priyanka, it would have made more sense and more cohesion. And I get that, but it's metal. And the, the category is collection, and collection metal. I'm, this is metal. Okay, but do you see a collection in all three of them? 
A fashion collection. Fashion collection, body-wise, no. However, it is metal, metal, metal. And although you don't like that French copper, I think it's cute. Okay, well. So shout out to Lemon. That is my opinion. Say it. That's my opinion, sweetheart. I love it. All right, moving on to the next group. We have Jimbo. We have yes. Tanoli and we have Ilona Burley and they got paper. Which I was Ilona. really looking forward to paper, honestly, Me because they do so much, so much with, with paper. paper. Yeah. You know what I would have done? Wait, let's start with the first look. Okay. Hold your thought, hold your opinion. Okay, oh. so first we have Ilona Burley. My um, favorite. They both, her and Tainomi played the knights and Jimbo obviously played the queen. I love this So outfit. she walked down in this and I was like, oh, this is really cute. I see the knight reference. Yes. I love the shoulder pieces. They made a cage. It's like a horse knight, like yes. chess. Yes, chess like, is chess, yeah. Checkers. See, she also has a little paper thing on the, like on her head. Like this is really cute. And the color palette. Is it checkers? Is it uh, chess. chess. It's chess. Chess. Yeah. chess, Yes. The color palette was really cute. I like the pink. Yeah. I like the pink. Yes, I thought it was cute. I love the color palette, it's pinkish. It gives me like Barbie fantasy um, meets chess meets um, night. I don't know, I just think it is. And I like the little hoop skirt. The hoop skirt, like, yeah. It's really cute. And the shoulder pads, like just having those details, like, you yeah. know, it's, I'm, I'm really glad that she added those little, um, I don't know, they look like pom poms or whatever on yeah. the shoulder blades. Like, it, it's cute. Yeah. Um, and I couldn't even tell this was made out of paper. It looks like fabric. Yeah. 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 This is this is really. It's cute. cute. It's a. It's cute. It's cute. All right. Um. Next, we have Tainomi Banks, and she's walking down as night number two in a yes. yellow and blue palette. Yes. I thought this is the best she's ever looked the whole season. She looks yeah. so clean. She looks, she looks so beautiful. Good. Her wig is amazing. Um, I love the cage, reference to the other cage Ilona was wearing. Yeah. The shoulder piece, the blue, is just really beautiful against her skin. The I like shoe, it. so cute. It's, it's cohesive. Cohesive, yes. But. Oh, here we go, Bob. That's my opinion. Okay. I think if she if she really wanted to stick with this idea, if she would have had a floor, not a floor length, but like a uh, above ankle kind of like um, uh, dress, uh -huh. like I, I think she would have really served it. I, the leotard is cute. Yeah. However, I just, the hoop skirt, I think, yes, it's cohesive, but I feel like if she would have took just the gown, like a gown without touching the floor, you could still see her shoes and all that. Um, I, I like it, you know, the little hoop skirt and everything, it should have been, like, it is cohesive. However, the, if she would have just brought that down to a floor length gown or like a, like a, a like a tight dress, I think she would have looked sickening. Um, the hair is everything. I like the hair with the outfit. And again, the little pom-poms on the shoulder. Yeah. I think that's really cute. Um, it kind of looks like a knight, but not like a knight, but not really. Yeah. Um, if she would have done like maybe some leg pieces. Oh, yeah. You know, like what the knights yes. were, like yes, she's yes, going yes, to battle yes. and some arm pieces. That's what they were it, missing. Yeah, it would have oh, no. been. Yes, they were missing. No, because she had it. Um, they had they had the little sword and everything. Yeah, but I think she could have she could have taken the paper and made like actual pieces. Oh well, yeah, like a knife, a little knife yeah, thing. A little okay. Thing. Um, but I thought she looked so good. No, this she did. She ever she did. looked. Also, like um, they told them about like the titty like breast area where like it's like popped up. Yeah. And they liked that, and I think that was th that attention to details, everything. Detail. Detail. Attention to detail. All right, and then we have uh, uh, Jim who lied to the competition. Who came down as the queen, um, and she made this look out of paper. She's giving us queen flower realness. I yes. love this look as well. The yes. only thing I don't like is her hair. Jimbo, gotta give me some style wigs, girl. Come on. Ah! Uh, so it just because she's so painted white. Enter the shape sound here. <laughs> <laughs> because she's painted white, um, her hair is blended into the chest. Yeah. Um, if she would have made maybe some gloves to match. The dress would have been cute. Well, but look, she made this dress out of fucking paper and it looks so good. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I, she, it's good. It's good. Not my favorite, but it's it's cute. Like, you said she should have worn gloves, but I think, um, like they mentioned, I think they're right. They, she should have gone out and painted all her body. body yes. Apply it to the competition. Yeah. Apply Overall, the competition. though, did you like the dress? It was cute. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it goes with what they were going for. I just don't understand that metal part. Oh, the little spike? Yeah, yeah. I don't she, understand maybe that. Maybe she was like needing to make a belt. Yeah. I, I don't know, I feel like she could have made a belt out of something else. I don't know, I just don't like the idea of having the spikiness and then the flower papers. Yeah, I love the crown too. The crown. Or, yeah, the crown was really good. Or she could have made like a rose. 
like have like a rose bouquet in the middle. Oh yes. Definitely. And you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I really about. love this when it's going down. <laughs> like when the, good, okay, yeah. so the three looks walk down. Yes. Do you see a cohesion, a collection? I do. I do too. I understand yeah. the story. And I understand very what bright and beautiful. Yeah, yeah, it was. And like I feel like well obviously, you know, compared to um the people that have plastic, I or, just are or, or metal. Metal yeah, no. Silver or plastic? Well, metal is like a very like color that's just there. Yeah. But with plastic, you can do a lot more. And with paper, there's a, a lot of paper yeah. kind of color, you know. And I thought it was cute. Yeah. Okay. So, um, out of all these looks, um, who are your favorite? My favorite was really um, Rita Baga. Okay. I thought that she served it. Um, Ilana. Ilona. Ilona Verley. Stunning. Um, and I kind of like lemons. Yeah. I do, girl. Okay, well, that is your opinion. What's the name of the show? That is my opinion. Thank you. Okay, so um, can I go who my favorites were? No. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, this is my show. Uh, no, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, mine was Scarlett. Okay. Scarlett Bobo. She got the plastic. The plastic. Yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. Scarlett Bobo. Yeah. Um, and I really loved Jimbo, Tainomi, and Ilona. Even though the judges hated it, I loved it. I saw a collection. Yeah. They did paper. They made it beautiful. They had a story. They did. The judges said it was too costly, but fashion is meant to be, I don't like yeah. it. Yeah. Meant to be a lot, meant to be over the top. And I was pissed about that. Yeah. I was watching it and I was like, costly. Yeah. I totally disagree with the judges. And I was like, what, what is, is um, going on? Tainomi Banks said, you gave us trash. You gave us trash. Exactly, but what the stuff they were giving, they made beautiful items. They did. I beautiful. Did, items. I wouldn't have done that. Same. I would have just cut paper and apply it to a fucking piece of fabric <laughs> and worn it. And worn it. Yeah. Um, your least favorite looks. You want me to go first? Sure. Okay. Um, Priyanka and Lemon. I did not like Lemon's dress. I've seen it before. I didn't like the color. It didn't make a sense in the collection. And Priyanka. I didn't like this just, dress either, and I didn't understand the umbrella. something against Lemon. When I saw, no girl, I loved Lemon last week. She did so good, especially when she came with the Lemon dress. Okay. This week, I don't know, hence she did better from the first design challenge. I give her props on that. Yeah. yeah. But there was no collection to this collection. There was, it didn't make sense. Okay. The looks didn't make sense. I um, guess. But those are my least favorite. Her turn. Priyanka. That's it. Priyanka. Yeah. Priyanka. I, I, I honestly felt like, Priyanka should have been in the lineup, but yeah, that's a different story. Top of the week is we have the winner of the challenge, and it's Rita Baga. So Rita Baga's yes. team wins. Um, do you agree? One hundred percent. The bitch turned it out. Yeah. That look, homie. Like she did the whole challenge. She did what needed to be done. Yeah. Yeah. Period. Period. I think if they didn't win, it should have been um, Jimbo's team, the paper challenge. Yeah, paper, I paper, agree. The paper challenge, the paper team. Yeah, the paper um, challenge. Yeah, I agree. Rita Baga's team agree, uh, deserved the win, and yes. they all look sick me. Sick me now? I love it. So then um, we have our bottom two. Our bottom two, unfortunately, was Tainomi Banks, third time in the bottom, and um, I Ilona Burley. Do you agree on the bottom, or do you think who should have been in the bottom? I feel they served as this lip sync because they want to kind of drama. Yeah. Don't I get me wrong. Too. I feel like. They said, let's spice it up a little and let's get two people from the same team to lip sync. Yeah. However, I think, and this is my opinion, oh, sorry, sis, Priyanka should have been in the bottom. I agree. And another person. And who? I want to know who. I think it should have been Priyanka and Lemon. Girl! It should have been Priyanka and Lemon. No, girl. Or Priyanka and Boa. It should have been someone from the metal team. I, I agree. Picked, I would have picked Priyanka. I, I would have picked Priyanka. Okay, so say you're gonna pick someone for the paper team. I would have picked Priyanka and Ilona in the bottom, just yeah. because Priyanka won last week. I would have ruffled her feathers and yeah. said, "Guess what? You're gonna be in the bottom, no, and you're gonna fight." I agree. Because that's the rule to the competition. Yes. One day you can be in the top, the next day you can be in the bottom. Yes, I agree. I I think Priyanka should have been in the bottom. Yeah. Also, I feel like, like like you, I feel like Boa or um, Tainomi. You think Tainomi should have been in the I bottom? I think Tainomi should have been in the bottom. But I know because... should not have been in the no. bottom. She and it looks so good. So good. And the know. judges attacked her week after week on her style. This is the best she's ever looked. And I would why have, do you I think she was in the bottom? Girl? No. I would have kept her. There was no reason why she was in the bottom. Because her group didn't make, her, there was no cohesion. They read them. No, the looks were I so good. I just, I, I they, feel the like... last two weeks, the judges have been reading her on her style. This is the best and the cleanest she's ever looked. She did look good. I'm not going to lie. I disagree. She should have been in the bottom. Then why should Ilona have been in the bottom? I don't think Ilona should have been in the bottom. But if the judges sat there and decided, let's put these two people, then put Ilona and Priyanka. Okay. But if I was there, I was judging, I would have put Lemon and Priyanka. Yeah, I mean, look, 
Tainomi is that bitch, don't get me wrong. Yeah. She looked really stunning, she was very beautiful. But I feel like just the conception of her outfit, it, it wasn't, I don't, yeah. it wasn't to my taste, yeah. you know? But again, everybody has their own opinion. Right, sis? <laughs> yes, sis. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> we got our fourth lip sync um, of the season, yes. and they're gonna lip sync to Girlfriend by Avril Lavigne, one of my favorite songs. Bitch, I used to be in high school as a straight and, individual. And, and sing it, well, I used to sing to the straight boys. <laughs> Like, oh, you started that young, sis? Yeah. Hi. Um, so the lip sync starts, but yeah. before the lip sync starts, Alona is like freaking out. She's like, I don't want to do this. You're my friend. Why do I have to lip sync against you? The judges <sighs> are like, you could do this. Like, this is your moment. Like, do it. Would you have done the same if you and I were at the bottom? She was having, bitch, I would send your ass home. <laughs> it's a up. fucking competition. Whether you is your friend or your sister or your drag mother, you better turn it the fuck out. Because at the end of the day, you're in that competition for a reason. Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry. She, I just she, she freaked out. Yes. Well, let me ask you this: If we were in the bottom, would you have done the same? If I was in the bottom with you. Okay. So with the experience, I've competed before, and I almost ended up in the bottom. And I stood there and looked to the girl and said, "If I in the in, if I am in the bottom today, I'm not lip singing for my life. I understand. I your emotions get okay. the best of you." So I I kind of felt for her, and yet that was her sister. And okay. she's like, "I can't do this to my yeah. sister." If I was competing against you or one of my sisters, I probably would be like, no, I can't do this. And you you would have just... I would have just said goodbye. I would, you know what, I, I would have been pissed if you would have done that. Because... Would you be like, no, sis, come look no, against me? No, you would me. have to do it, girl. Like, I understand that it's, it's a family thing. Yeah. Respect. But also, there's a thing called respect when you're up for a challenge with somebody that you know is a competitor. Yeah. If you're willing to just give up, just like that, because one, it's your sister. No, okay. you have to, it's a competition. First season in Canada's Drag Race. And you're gonna go out like that and say, I don't, I don't wanna do this, you're my sister, we can't do this. No, put in 100%, regardless if it's your sister, your mother, your friend. I just Trey. think that's what it is, Trey. I just think that's what it is. And that is her opinion. And that's my opinion. <laughs> and if you don't like it, my name is April Showers. Ah! And if you don't like it, my name is Torta Who Goes. Uh, all right, so the lip sync starts, obviously. Um, I thought Alona was giving me more rock and roll. They were both having fun. Yeah. Um, at first it started evenly, and then I saw Ilona succeeding, and then yes. I saw Tainomi really going she for it. And I was yeah. like, oh, come on, Tainomi's giving me everything I want. Yes. Especially when she did that thing with like her hand. Oh, yes, that was yes, so yes. Good. Was really good. Um, and then I felt like Ilona started like falling. Yeah. Um, thoughts and opinions on the lip sync, real quick? I mean, I thought it was good, honestly. I, I, I think this is one of the. Best the best, yeah. <laughs> the best song that they lip sync yeah. to so yes. so far in the season. I agree. What am I ever lip sync so far this season? Yeah, I just feel like there's a lot of energy that was given, and yes. and like you mentioned, the level of energy that they're two different people. Yeah, they're two different type of energies, and I feel like I think it was amazing. I, I liked it. Yeah. You know, compared to the previous lip syncs. Yes. You know, I agree. And they both get, gave great energy, and they were fighting for it. Yeah. Ilona were, ended up yeah, lip for her life. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so unfortunately, we had to say um, goodbye to Tainomi. Thanks. And Ilona um, stayed. Do you agree with Tainomi getting set off? Unfortunately, yeah. Oh, I disagree with you. I, I mean, okay, bro, so watching that lip sync, I would have sent Ilona home. Wow. I, watching that lip sync, Tainomi fought. She really wants this. She, is she really wanted assassin. it, but continued to be in the bottom for the previous but how many weeks. she didn't weeks? deserve to be in the bottom this week. But Girl. we already talked about that, so we're judging only the slip Yeah, I think she should have Fighting for home. their lives, Ilona should have gone home. No. Just because Tainomi fought the for at the last, the last two minutes of that song, Ilona gave me what I wanted. The energy... Sorry, Ilona. T Tainomi gave me what I wanted. Ilona gave that energy that I needed from her. Because she showed... We, I already seen when Tainomi wanted it. I seen her lip sync. She wants it, she wants it, she wants it. Ilona, this is the first time that I see her putting her heart and soul into that. Yeah. And I think it was good. I, I, I enjoyed it. We're gonna agree to disagree, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, but that's your opinion, not my opinion. So she wants to fight me on set. I just <laughs> in my living room. Ah! Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so overall, I guess we had to say goodbye to Tainomi, yeah. unfortunately, oh, um, her third time, second time? Second time fighting. Third time. Third time in the bottom. Third time in the bottom. Unfortunately, yeah. we had to goodbye, say goodbye to her. Um, I loved her. 
I loved her this week. I loved yeah, her she, um, in the beginning of the season. Yeah. All stars. Come on, Tanomi. All I stars. also, I compared, like, when she first came out, I thought, okay, this is going to be a well polished queen yeah. and she's going to be on the top. And don't get, I'm not going to discredit her. Her drag is everything. She, she killed it. She slayed it. However, sometimes you crack under pressure and it happened. No. Yeah, I agree. You know? Tainomi for all stars, ladies and gentlemen. That I will give her. No. Tainomi for all stars. Also, I think um, Juice Box should be in the all stars. Same. Because I feel like she has a lot more to give. She has a lot. But hey, it happens. Yeah, I agree. Um, thank you for joining me, Seth. No, thank you for having me and um, enjoying this beerless beauty. Beerless nice. beauty. Um, where can we find you? Um, yeah, so every Monday, well, no, sorry, every other Monday, uh, me and Beatrix Couture are having our own shows on Instagram Live. Oh, shout out to um, Beatrix Couture. It is Couture. called Las Pendejadas con Beatrix y Torta. I love it. Um, thoughts and opinions so far on the whole season of Canada's Drag Race? It's refreshing, honestly. It's very, very refreshing because I feel like RuPaul Drag Race has so, like, back to back to back to back. Yeah. And although this is, a, like, it is Drag Race too, but I feel like it's such a different twist to it. Yeah. And the judges so refreshing too. I'm not gonna do it again. I do it You know, yes. I like the idea of having a different host, a different week. Yeah. The only thing I don't like is them like they judge. Like, they judge too hard. Yeah. They're a little too rough. Yeah, with judging. Yeah. To like pull back the critique. Pull back. Or something like their their deliberation. deliberation. Not deliberate. The way they come off is a yeah. little rough on yeah. the guys. Yeah. Like but I understand the, the passion that Brooklyn Heights has. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Yes, Canada. Woo. But. Remember, this is a first season, girl. Yeah. I mean, yes, you're trying to ruffle them feathers, but bitch, no. do you gotta go in? In the, like they go in. They go in, girl. Yeah, I if I was up there with all these other bitch, I would have said I'm leaving. Yeah. But in a way that I don't want to be disrespectful. Yeah, you get I me. Agree. But I just I don't think that being that harsh to them should. I don't think it should have gone away. Yeah, you know. Yeah. But hey, it's a track race. It's gonna be. It's gonna be hard. Nobody said it was easy. That's your opinion. That's my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, so where can we find you on social media? Uh, it is torta jugo, torta underscore jugosa okay. um, on Instagram, Facebook, and Facebook is torta jugosa. Uh, do you have a Twitter? OnlyFans, Christian Lee. Um, my OnlyFans is coming soon. Craigslist. Excuse me, we don't talk about we don't talk, no. You can find me on Grinder. Oh, cute. I'll Come be in the Grindr. local restroom. I love it. Glorious. In Compton, by the taco truck. Oh, yeah. That's like, the oh. best one, when they bring you tacos and some salsa. Come on, tacos and some salsa. salsa. Ah! Uh, thank you so much <laughs> for joining me. No problem, thank you thank for having you. me. Okay, so on the count of three, we're going to say trash. Ready? Okay. <clears throat> one, two, three. Trash! trash!